ladies, gents, and acolytes of the erect phallus, we return to the shadow of the earth tree, murdering these filthy scorpion spiders. Absolutely disturbing new enemy. Why do you have to do this? Why do you have to do this, Miyazaki? Why had the spiders weren't enough? Scorpions weren't enough. You need to fuse them in this horrible nightmare fuel of a creature. You cannot help yourself, can you? You are one disturbed individual. And it is truly a sign of a sick mind. A man after my own heart. All right, Butthole is going to continue exploring this terrible mausoleum, whatever it's actually called. I, I read the entrance name and instantly forgot it. Woo. <laughs> All right. And we are carrying the giant gut sword because of this reason. Look at this. Look at this attack. Absolutely insane. Gorgeous, incredible attack. I'm going to actually, instead of using the claw attack, we're going to switch to the Shard of Alexander. So that attack is maximized. It's the best attack in the world, which is Lion's Claw. They have supercharged it with a uh, later incarnation of the Berserk anime slash manga. I just need now my very own ragtag group of sidekicks. Where is Shirky? That's how you actually pronounce it. I've never actually heard it pronounced because who, who watched 2016 Berserk? Nobody. That's who. At least nobody that had any kind of self-respect. <coughs> Still recovering from that cold. It's very upsetting. The snot monster doesn't want to leave my face. So I'm still gonna need to, to you know, indulge in occasional pauses and uh, getting away from the microphone. All that uh, silly nonsense. The struggle to balance the audio has continued ever since I got myself... Okay. If this fella is like an intruder. Let me slow walk Adam. Oh wow, that's actually hurtful. I don't appreciate it. Check my check my attack out though. Oh shush shush! Oh row 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 row. <laughs> you cannot stand against the mighty power of my holy butthole. There you go. Rah! Absolutely adore this weapon. I don't like to overuse it! He caught me. He super roll caught me. What a scumbag. It's okay. We have infinite super lion attacks. Oh yeah, meet my berserking super spin. Cannot stop me, bitches. Not resin. I am going to assume that not resin is for a new version of, of uh, weapon buffs. What is it? Y? Material used for crafting. F. Uh, F. R? <laughs> there you go. Not shep lump of resin that exuded from the roots of three materials used for crafting Amazon, blah, 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 blah. So a primitive catalyst making this suitable for processing use in sorcery, incantation, and the like. I'm going to assume, indeed, it is like a, a more powerful weapon enhancement like the greases are. No joy ahead. I contest that. I am full of joy as I come into this wonderful place. Absolutely obliterate the opposition. That was perhaps a little too overwrought. There was no reason to go so hard in the paint for those, that group of four idiots. But, you know, I commit to the bit. Is that a... Why is it always tunnel? <laughs> What's I want to say? Is that another sewer scenario where you go down there and it's just the bones of generations? Absolutely atrocious environment. Oh, something I forgot to do. I would like to swap my Virgin Black Flame for the Giga Chad Madness Incantations. Oh, wow. That is a lot of fire damage against the shadows, huh? Ow. Didn't realize that fire damage did a ton of damage to these scum, scum lords. More of a reason to go back. I mean, we're, we're almost... We're right out of the side of grace. We just need to kill a few little shadows again. Who cares about that? And it also gives me the chance to go back that way. Let me memorize it real quick. Oh, that's right. We did get another one of these. There you go. Another Revere Spirit Ash. We're not going to use those a whole lot because ashes are a last resort. They are not going to be outside of my bounds of tools that I can use, but they are our last resort. 
Uh, let me get rid of this. I'm, I'm very fond of your standard. I really love the, the Flame of Frenzy. An Enduro Frenzy, I consider it a little cheesy. You know, like the Kamehameha from the Sorcerers. An Enduro Frenzy is like when you want to skip a boss and you just spam that until it's dead. Uh, Flame of Frenzy, it's just, it's just fun times, buddy. It's just fun times. Watcha! Burn! That is a lot of fire damage. I'm very happy with it. We're going to hopefully abuse it a great deal. Might you open this door? Behold, shortcut. You don't have the right. Oh, you don't have the right. All right. I'm glad that I came this way. Make sure that we are actually funneled through the only one path going forward. Here's the RP walker over here. How about you eat my flame of frenzy? Oh, yeah. You're getting murdered. What? What do you drop? Smithing stone six, huh? I only have a couple thousand of those. So, you know, I could always use a couple more. More thousand. No joy head. Indeed, indeed. Uh, there was the slow walker over there. The people by the fountain. Worshipping the poison. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, what are you even praying to? Let me pay a little bit of attention here. It's just a bunch of uh, weird nuns. No, they have beards. A uh, bunch of weird monks. Religious people. False idols all. I am the only lord you should praise and, and worship. Okay, so we got uh, two obvious paths here. Let me snipe these scum lords into the face. Man, that is... Like, remember, the spiders outside, they were only getting hurt for 400. These guys get absolutely roasted by my shots of fire. Let's go down the tunnel. I am an adventurous sort. I don't really care about what horrid monstrosities, mutated rats, horrible spiders. Spider, scorpion, dog hybrids that there may be here. Pathetic. Can you open? Of course not. Of course not. This is a Souls game. Every door that you encounter is locked. Wait a minute. Mesmer Fire Grease. That seems like a finally a way to buff your weapon with grease. Oh yeah, I tested out the f hefty fire pot. Let me craft another one of those because it was actually pretty hilarious. <laughs> the giant size of this spot is just comical. Um, that was the grease, right? Let me see. Inventory, inventory. Don't really care about the fly mold. Oh, you gotta go this way. I mean, it is a new item. There you go. Mesmer fire. Grease coats armor and inflicting heavy fire damage. So they find not grease free from a mixture of incendiary materials, craftable item, coats armor, blah, 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 blah. Fire was a symbol of the crusade. Even, even Mesmer's rank and file soldiers will wield it. Very interesting. Um, I want an incantation. There is no incantation in the game. Let me get rid of the... The bloody finger. This is kind of silly to carry. Uh, and we'll get rid of you as well. We're going to put that there. And hopefully I can remember to use it on the next boss. Uh, there's nothing down here, buddy. It's just... I mean, it does make sense that it's just a well. There's no weird nonsense going on. But anyway, that door is locked. We need to find the sewer key. If you look up at the sky, you truly can't see. We are under the shadow of the Earth Tree. I guess it's a Earth Tree shadow, a shadow version of the Earth Tree. The Skadoo Tree. The Pokemon Tree. The Skivity Tree. You cannot withstand my incredible risk. I see you, scum lords. What, you think I'm going to get sniped by your moronic ability to maybe throw pots at me? How about you? Oops. Wrong incantation, my bad. Look, I'm a mad lord. I don't even know what day it is. Do you think I, uh, I will carefully select my incantations? This is just outrageous. The amount of <laughs> fire damage these people take is just silly. Which, I mean, I guess that it's tied into the lore, right? It, we just picked up that fire grease. 
feels like these people are all the victims of Mesmer's crusade. So they are these burnt husks, souls of all the pathetic soldiers and acolytes and citizens that Mesmer roasted. We are in a dilapidated town surrounded by ashes and soot. Wow, such great swings. Why you cry? Let me put you out of your misery. There you go. Are you, uh, how are you doing, fella? How are my spinny attack? Hussah! Good thirst. <laughs> yeah. You got a smithing stone, huh? Yes, yes, yes. More fire grease. Uh, sometimes I gotta do that small cut. Still dealing with all oh, that's not That tail end of the cold that is so irritating. I mean, I will take it. Much rather have this than be laid out in the couch for three days straight. Like I had to suffer to get here. Uh, that being said, never let anybody put down bed rest. Like, if you can afford it, obviously I understand. You, maybe you are a really hardworking person. You need to make that money. So you are working through your sickness. If you can afford, as soon as you feel symptoms, to just embrace the bed rest. I was out of the cold. Like, in two days, I was pretty good. Like, I... You know, I could mostly function. In three days, all that's left is the snot. Uh, it could be it's just a coincidence that it would have been mild anyway. But I very much credit the bed rest. Being able to uh, get back into a healthy shape. Pretty fast. Man, these, these sites of grace are generous. Plentiful. Shiny. Love it. Excuse me? <laughs> I am next to the side of grace. Who the hell do you think you are? Ooh, that tickles. Let me let me show you mine. Let me show you mine. This holy strike that you're doing. Wow. Mm, be engulfed in madness. Pathetic. Anyway, let me just go back here. Get myself some full regeneration. And then we're going to go back out. Uh, where's this guy? Why? Why? Why would you go into my site of rest and molest me so? Oh, you are the scum lords that I disturbed earlier. Well, you filthy campers, you're going to get what you deserve. Get burnt, bitches. Absolutely sad. Might you be a shortcut to open? No, another locked door, huh? Whoop. No, it's nothing to stand on. These are just the rooftops. Uh, let me let me let me do this in an organized manner. I need to keep track of where I'm going and where I'm coming from. I am liable to get lost. Okay, so we got the side of grace. There's a path that goes up. Let's me let me take a peek. Wah! Horn scent. That is what this guy is. Might you be also be um, vulnerable to fire, or are you one of Mesmer's? Soldiers, and therefore, whoop, you're not vulnerable to fire. You are just, you know, you take some fire damage. Holy crap. Ah! <laughs> I don't have the poise to absorb that. Look at this guy, he's so enthusiastic. I would like to fully charge this madness attack, please. Yeah, okay. All right, well, let me just show you mine. Whoa! Yeah, all right. Oh, wow. He actually. Survived with one HP. What a piece of garbage! Definitely want to farm those for weapons, huh? And, and the armor set. I bet that they drop it, but maybe not. Maybe the armor set. That's the thing. Like when you're first encountering all these creatures, you don't really want to set out and farm them on the first encounter. Anyway, I don't want to come this way. I want to go back to the rooftops, but we will certainly. We're going to mark that right there. Remind myself to come back this way. I would like to explore these rooftops first because it feels like this path is more like, hey, find yourself some cool loot in the rooftops and then go back to the general path as opposed to the other side, which seems like to be the path forward, you know? Can I make it back up here? I, I believe so. I cannot make it to the, all the way across, but certainly I can jump over. There's a piece of loot over there. Let's go this way first. Perhaps we can find something hilarious. 
we can find something delicious a lump of flesh on the floor a filthy shadow hiding from my bloodthirst absolutely nothing that is what we found absolutely nothing oh never mind there is a path a walkway to go through give me that thing oh baby it worth every second i just spent all right let's go over to the other side Surely, that item in the back is worth more than a somber stone four. Certainly, they wouldn't tempt me with this try but hole opportunity. Silver horn tender. All right. <laughs> what were those for? Let me uh, temporary boost item discovery. Let me just use one for no reason other than to use them. They are valuable. They're probably lots of runes if you sell them. I guess. Who the hell cares about that? Runes are so easy to come by by this point. It feels, you know, it feels kind of anticlimactic. Like, by this point, literally, the game requires you to have done Moog's Palace. Any kind of rune... Mm, rune incentive is completely worthless. Because I can farm 100,000 in a literal minute. So... You're not going to entice me with the value of items. Ooh, we better save this for a rainy day. It's just so silly. Oh, I see. There's a filthy heathen behind me that does not believe in the power of flame. He just uses holy damage. I am also a big holy damage enjoyer, actually. Don't let me poo-poo your faith. I will resort to it as well. Beast bones, huh? Think beast bones. How wonderful. A lot, of, a lot of comments going on over there. Perhaps an ambush? In waiting. That's the way I came, right? That's the I, I came down that way? No, I, yeah, I came up that from that side. Can you turn around in this legacy dungeon? Hidden path ahead, you liar! You dirty liar! I trust you not. But, you know, I will give you the benefit of the doubt. But we have an item to make sure that this, I'm not getting bamboozled. You filthy liars, you scum lords. <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! But I'm not going to just jump ahead like a moron. Well played, though. Oh, wow, aren't you, aren't you quite the ambusher? Damn! Oh, yeah. These people are just ass. <laughs> just garbage. I've been completely forgetting to electrify my armament. This is like the full, like, fully buffed. This weapon is absolutely insane. Let's see if we can exemplify the incredible power of a super spinny attack. And not fully buffed, but almost. It didn't even get to taste the third strike. That's how the kind of power that we're wielding between our two hands only rivaled by the incredible girth of my clock. So, you know, it is just nearly unheard of. The amount of damage that we're putting out. <laughs> Your ambush is ineffective. String. I love the subtle suggestions to hang myself. Uh, string is probably just to create the, the fast version of weapon buffing. Don't really care for it. All right. Have we seen everything that there is to see? I'm pretty certain I did not miss any paths. Let me just quickly go, go back. We have to have to be wary of left. Like, who cares, brother? Who cares? This is where I came down from, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm feeling fairly confident saying that I did not miss any, any paths other than the little uh, tiny nook that I always miss somehow. There's always the one spot that I do not see and that I invariably find later when I go back after the recording. It's nothing to be found here. Storeroom key. Do I need to go back now and start trying every single door that I encountered? There's at least three that I can think of. There was the small one. Close to the side of Grace. There was the big double doors. And then there was the sewer, the sewer grate. Let me get myself rebuffed before we go into the unknown. Really appreciate this talisman, talisman right here, the old lord's talisman. 
for PvE, it is such a great thing to have. Not have to worry about reapplying your buffs constantly. Very nice. Oh, I see. You breathe uh, black flame. I breathe yellow flame. Clearly superior. As any Chinese man will tell you. How dare you. Destroy! Oh, well, you, you actually do hurt. You hurt indeed. Give myself fully healed. <laughs> these low-level smithing stones are just cracking me up, buddy. Are these again, carriers of ashes? I think they are. Golden Horn Tender. And Revere Spirit Ash. Indeed, they are carrying ashes. All right, let me uh, do battle against this fella before my buff runs out. And then I'll check out. I am curious about... Oh, whoa, the delay attack, brother. <laughs> uh, I am curious... Man, he's, this is a, a chunky fella. Damn. I'm very curious about the higher level of, of horn. Boost rune acquisition for a time. Another worthless item. Boost the amount of runes obtained. And then uh, used by the horn scent by coating spiral horns with gold. Once bestowed upon inquisitors as an honor. Feels like the horn scent. They're here to destroy this place, right? Is that a uh, valid interpretation? Seems like they already destroyed it, and they are just remnants here, making sure that the populace never rises back from the ashes. Oh, jeez. It's broken. Uh, some nasty shit going on down there. Uh, I was going to say, I missed a path, because I see the bit of, of loot right here. Light pinion. Wow. And then... Again, there's stairs going down, but it seems like that's a dead end. Let's go down first. Love me some exploration. Always fond of finding what's around the corner. It's my favorite part of Souls. Any Souls game. Just looking at every nook and cranny is deeply enjoyable for my sensibilities. All right, well, that was enormously, enormously not worth it. It is uncanny the amount of times that I have said that. Exploration often does not pay off, except the times when it actually does, and it's enormous. That's where I came from. Holy crap, brother. <laughs> this is never ending. Ow. Filthy spiders. I'm going to visit the flame of chaos. Bajowsdus. Pathetic. Oh, you're still alive. Not for long. All right. Give me those buffs. Seems uh, a little, uh, a little sus. It's a little sus in there. May even be an arena. Hello, giant scorpion spider. You are fat, but so is my sword. Get destroyed. Ah, more than one. Poison buildup, huh? Check out this fat chunker buildup that I can do. All right, let me uh, maybe recuperate my stamina. Worst! All right, well, well that was bone bow. All right, let me take a look at it real quick. I don't really, I, I never get excited about bows. A crude short bow fashioned from sickly bone. How exciting! <laughs> a mission, a medium for spirit calling, and a product of the ancient hexing arts of the tower. Rancor shot, imbue arrows with vengeful spirits before finding off a barrage, imbued arrows, chase down foes as they cut through the air. That sounds pretty badass. But bows is one thing I really just don't care about. I'd much rather use my incredibly powerful magic. I'm big bonker. Okay, it looks like we're done. I'm glad that I came down this way. Encountered the horrendous spider monstrosities. Got us a nice piece of loot. And we moved on with our lives. Well, that was highly questionable, except there's a path. Well, well, well. You <laughs> <He's gone. laughs> Ah, you filthy ambushers, man. It's like, here's a secret. Psych! Time for you to get the big suck. Oh, the big suck has come. The big suck has come. Burn! 
<laughs> Burn! You filthy spider garbage. Fly mold. I mean, they're not spiders, they're flies, but, you know, it's all the same to me. They're just filth. Running out of uh, FP, let me just use the Electrify Armament without the old Golden Vow. Golden Vow is pretty uh, resource intensive. I don't know what's going on here, but you must die. Then Beast Bones. <laughs> it was just shoving those right up its cloaca. Alright. Skadu Tree Fragment, big fan. And of course, another one of these weird crosses. I abandon here my Arm Sinistral. I mean, you don't... Your left arm, you don't need to put here your be left arm, buddy. What, do you not think? What Sinistral... I knew what Sinistral means? Of course I do. I'm a freaking language genius. Try bo bouquet that looks like an amulet. Raises deck power when summoned spirit dies. A quaint bouquet of dried flowers offered to a small grave. Raises attack power when a spirit you have summoned dies. Uh, it seems like the game is really trying to incentivize Spirit Ash summoning. Like, hey, the game is telling me, hey, look, this is a mechanic we put in the game for a reason. It's not something for you to ignore. It's not something that you should uh, look down upon. Ah! It is a integral part of the video game, and you don't use it because you're a weirdo. I feel like that is what Miyazaki is trying to tell me here. Anyway, I really don't want to go down there. <laughs> I don't, don't want to go down there. To the disgusting swamp of the big suck. It's, uh... Let me go uh, back this way. Because I'm pretty sure there was a regular path where you can just, you know, walk in there. I am not feeling great with my remaining flasks. Seems like I'm going to be stranded down there. Getting absolutely destroyed. Uh, well, sucks to you, buddy, because there's no exit here. Actually, there is an exit. Never mind. Uh, that path wasn't as hidden as I thought. I think this is just a one big loop, isn't it? Alright, let's get this done. Electrify this. They are all standing in water, so this should be extra damage. Let's face the big suck. Hopefully it will never actually latch into my head. Rust! Big fan of the loop, though. Well, I have missed. Oh! Oh yeah, those this the quick thrust is so good. I feel like that really should have landed. <laughs> the quick thrust after the crouch attacker roll. It is the bread and butter of this weapon, really. If you want to get a swift attack off with it, that's your best bet. Alright, give me some extra fly mold. Can never have enough. Disgusting molded, moldy inventories in my... I mean, items in my inventory. Uh, you were supposed to die. Thank you for complying. I killed a whole group of flies. You really are not giving me anything, huh? I hate everything about entering this place. Broken rune. Okay. The big suck was bound to happen. Actually, it was pretty pathetic. Truly, why, brother? Why you miss? Truly, not the most powerful sucker I ever encountered. If you catch my drift, if you don't, I'm talking about horse. Let me just go up this ladder. I don't think there's anything to be found there. Seems like just another place to visit and move on. You don't know the shade, huh? Darst! Man, you're, you're just fat. You're tanky as hell. He's taking three strikes from this weapon. It ain't no small feat. Another pathetic remnant of the inhabitants of this place succumbs to my incredible might. Okay. I see dead people. How you died, my good fellow? Going that way, huh? Let me just go down this path. Seems like this is a big loop because I did drop into the swamp area, right? So there's going to be a door. At some point, that leads back to where I came from. Is this it? Yeah, look at that. I told you! 
Just a one big fat loop, which fills me with joy because it means that I have not missed any uh, significant path, I don't think. I should put some regeneration on. Then the regen do some work. As opposed to using up too much of my flask. That being said, I also don't have any regular blue uh, juice. Rah! You know, quickly reaching the end of my rope here. You're one of the fat ones. Don't want to use one of my uh, very limited. Holy crap. Ah, maybe this is time. Maybe this is time. It's time to use one of these. Huzzah. Holy crap, the damage. No, don't do it. <laughs> ah. Really did not expect that enormous pile of health to get drained from my from my HP. <laughs> Holy crap. Hey, more ash. Revere Spirit Ash. They, re they really are going out of their way to come on, come on. You want you know you wanna do it. Summon some spirits, you know what you wanna do it. You're gonna get your shit pushed in, pushed in if you don't do it. One path down, one path up. The path down is quickly <laughs> truncated. It's okay though, the reward truly was the stuff of legends. Alright, alright. Just uh I'm gonna stop making fun of the pathetic somber stones. Alright, well I'm out of juice, buddy. And here we have one of the weird uh, monstrous horned ones that are extremely hyperactive. Please stop. Impressive. I'm just going to keep spamming, okay? Seems like it's a strategy that you enjoy. Oh! Holy crap! Oh, he's coming. <laughs> he's so, so aggressive. Oh, man. Jump attack! I really missed, huh? I think I have one flash left. Feels like uh, more aggression is necessary here. Did that give me any flash? Absolutely not. <laughs> I am on my last dregs. I could simply teleport back and then rush past all the enemies and I'll be fine. Graze ahead. I appreciate that. Are you... A liar, though? Are you a garbage person? Ah, <laughs> Grace. Oh, baby, just right. Ah, oh, perfect game balance. Well done. Well done, game designers. Excellent timing. More Shadow Realm blessings. Yes, I want to empower everything that I carry. At least so my horse doesn't get instantly destroyed. Who are you? Redmain Freja. Well... If they, if this ain't a boss fight, I don't know what is, buddy. <laughs> this is clearly, clearly some kind of momentous encounter. Let us see if we can one-shot it. Fat chance of that. I'm going to stick with this super weapon. I don't like it for bosses, though. I, I would rather have a kind of like middle of the round kind of um, tool for bosses, something like the. Banished Knight Sword, something like a Scythe, or even just Marika's Hammer, one of those. You know, something that attacks a little, a little bit faster. Ooh, baby, it is a cutscene and everything. Here is our first real challenge, I will probably, I will surmise. Oh, horned beast from higher sphere delivered. Take root inside. Horny boy for the heavens. Take over my breast and rise through my throat. You're welcome for the translation. They are speaking in very cryptic English, but I'm here to help you out. I was just praying from this horn god to take root in her heart. Bruh. <laughs> Trumpets fire. 
You better not have just called me a strumpet. I'll have you know I am a very respectable escort. Alright, well that is uh, intimidating to be sure. It's gonna go down in a couple hits, don't worry about it. I am... I've faced so many horrible dangers. You are not one. Woo! Well, he sure is spinning. <laughs> you may you may stop now. Here, eat one of these. Well, that was a uh, decent amount of damage. Didn't do good damage. Whew. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Uh, doing pretty decent damage to the Divine Beast, Dancing Lion, Crouching Tiger, Hidden ca Chameleon. It is, uh, I don't consider it outside of the realm of possibility. We can just obliterate this scum lord. Uh, hidden Ace up my sleeve is Malik's Black Blade doing some percentage damage to the enemy. Let's go with the Magma Worm Scale Sword. I really like the combination of that weapon's... I wonder whether fire damage is effective against it. I like the combination of speed and bonk power. Give me that golden vow and also the black flames protection. That seemed like just pure physical damage right there. And of course we want this. Question, does the boiled crab stack... Let's see. Let's look at the the buffs. I, it's something just to got taken out. I think the black flame protection does not stack with the crab. They're kind of the same thing. Anyway, hello. I would like to uh, grab my runes, please. Even though I have gone at length about how it's really not necessary to care about runes. Damn! Black Flame Protection seems to actually do quite quite a great job. The damage dealt by this thing is greatly reduced. Oh boy. You know how hard it's going to be to clean all this crap that you're... You're making such a mess. You Divine Beast Dancing Dragon. Oh, oh, oh. Woo! <laughs> It's so hard to say even when do I attack. Let me just... Holy crap. I was about to say, let me just unlock myself from this creature. But uh, if you unlock... Seems like a bad idea. Whoa, why? <laughs> Well, we have now discovered there is lightning damage involved. <laughs> Enormously unexpected. Holy crap. Very cool, though. Holy crap. That's amazing. You do like your spinning attacks, huh? Enormously fond of those spinning attacks. Seems to go into phase two. Uh, one third. One of there will be a phase three. dead if I get struck now. Are you charging? No, you're not. Oh, it's like you change modalities, I see. So, putting on a lightning resist. Oh, that attack is so delayed. I don't know what you're doing right now, but I'm glad I rolled through it. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's chewing me, chewing me alive. Yep, yep, sure I'm uh, getting destroyed. Yep, yep, that was a great, great uh, educational moment. Thank you for this. We were doing some decent damage, I thought. Go ahead to half the health. That is very much respectable. Get a few attacks. Something I feel like I wasn't being all that aggressive. Maybe this fella just needs to get spanked in the head. Probably more often. Somehow I've managed to avoid 
every bit of damage. Not anymore. Not anymore. Just ate the full barrage there. Ow. Oh, something I forgot to do was take out the Shard of Alexander. Holy crap. <laughs> My jump attack. What if you can uh, stagger this fella? Uh, yes, the answer is yes. Don't get up, though. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> nice. That was fat. Whoa. Oh, I was rolling through that. That was weird. I was attempted to roll anyway. Oh, this is new. This is frost. <laughs> this is not right. Oh. Here, in one of these. Maybe it'll land. You ate my ass. Oh, baby. <laughs> Remembrance of the dancing lion. I will remember you. I will remember you when I go to the toilet and I'll... Take a dump on your bones, Divine Beast Head. Wow, that is actually a helmet. Describe this helmet to me. Show me this helmet. It's probably like the heaviest thing you can possibly wear. <laughs> weight, 10 weight units. Ritual headwear in the form of a Divine Beast Head used to perform the lion dance. Worn by the very finest of the sculpted keepers. Alas, it no longer responds to the old woman's earnest player. Prayer, divine invocation, heightens intensity of the storm alongside strength and dexterity, but reduces the restorative effect of drinking from a flask of sacred tears because you can't even get into the mask. Focus is also troubled by wearing this headwear. What the hell? <laughs> uh, definitely more poise, more strength, more dex, plus four to each. Seems like just a, another meme item. <laughs> oh, gorgeous. Oh, going to be the spirit of the Halloween party. Look at me. Woohoo! That's <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> That's the stupidest he headwear I've ever seen. And I have this in my inventory. <laughs> anyway, that was a great boss fight. Very cool, very cool. I liked it a lot. Uh, don't know whether it's supposed to be difficult or not. I felt it was very beautifully balanced. It was not difficult. It was not... Easy, it was just just right. Killed me a few times, learn from mistakes, dodge a bunch of uh, attacks, and we made it through very, very happy with how that went down. See you in the next episode, where even more creatures shall worship at my feet. <laughs>